Magic gods, I pray to you for the card I need. This is how good we are at magic. Hello everyone and welcome back to Bad Magic, which is written, produced, directed, and starred in by your boy, the citrus fruit that originated in southern China, but is now found in warm spots all over the world, Moldy Kumquat. Now Moldy, are we able to play aggro and control at the same time? Does that even make sense? Well, <laughs> of course not. What a ridiculous concept. Unless... What if we could? Well, if we could, then I would be telling you that you are playing this deck right here. Now, how do we do that? Well, it's simple. Our main force is going to come from your Brask's Forge. And as you know, this creates a token creature at the beginning of combat that grows every turn, and then it leaves the playing field. This allows us to maintain pressure while also controlling our opponent's board with things such as Depopulate, Sunfall, Wandering Emperor, and all the other single target goodies that we have. So, in a sense, we are playing aggro control. Now, before we get into the games, I want to remind you about the promotion that I spoke of in episode 20, so if you don't know about that, go check that out. But I also want to talk about a closer, more short-term goal, which is 50 subscribers. Now, why is 50 important, do you ask? Because once we hit 50, I can go live on YouTube. Once I can go live on YouTube, then I can provide these games to you live at the same time of my recordings, which... I think would provide a much more immersive and enjoyable experience for everyone. So, 50 subscribers. We're 22 away. I think we can get there this week. So, hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Anyway, the time for talking is over. The time for playing is now. Why, oh, why did you take this hand? Why, oh, why? I'll tell you, my friend. Um, I'm going to hope and pray. And as you can see, that's all it takes to be good at magic. I now have all the lands that I need. Minus one for depopulate. However... I have a 40-ish percent to draw land. So. Looks like we're up against Selesnia enchantments. We have all the answers we need, I think. So, yeah. Which will be good, um, because we lost our first match. Uh, so, uh, let's, see, let's see how... See what he does. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Now which one do you want to give that to? That's what I want to know. Oh, that one there? Nah, nah. Nah, nah, sir. Take two. And we are at 20. <laughs> and I have... I honestly, I look at this and I think to myself, I just... I'm perfectly fine with uh, what we've got here. We're going to kill both of these so his enchantment can't target anything next turn. Yeah. Nice, see? Dulu knows. He knows he's got three cards in hand and that is probably the only good card. So we're going to take our time here. Let's see if they can be welcoming enough to give us a card next turn when our uh, Eurobrask uh, token comes into play. Well, we might uh, have to deal with this board. 
Okay, so we'll have to deal with this board next turn. But this is where the beauty of this deck comes in. See? Nah, nah we'll, uh... Yeah. Yeah, we'll take this one out. Take three next turn. Whatever he drew isn't cheaper. We're good. Yeah, see? Oh, we're good. I'm actually cool uh, taking this for another turn. So we're going to drop our forge and start this train. This deck is simply awesome. Even though we're 0-1 right now. But this isn't the first time I've played this deck. I've actually built this deck in, in a previous uh, previous month and I played it for a bit now it's got new cards obviously but it's, there's a reason why I call it just simply awesome because it's like okay <laughs> that's a cool story bro Mr. Dulu depopulate ya yeah, boy and now our little guy's coming in, and we draw a card, and there's another forge. Nice. Uh, I'm going to play the heart flame here just to add a little bit more pressure. And, uh, yeah, we're good. I think Dulu is probably sitting there wondering how did things come to this <laughs> I wish I could tell you Dulu alright okay well, I was about to ask if he was there so we'll drop the, uh, the second one of these bad boys get in there for uh, seven here and as you can see it real really quickly starts to starts to roll if we can get it going last game obviously I couldn't get anything going so. messing with any of that just to say complete control complete control let's get in with some Brahma Brahma bull I got all this boom, boom. yes sir Dulu uh, I salute your strength bobbed when you should have weaved and you weaved when you should have bobbed the punches came in and they just didn't stop round after round they didn't stop and you're still here saying punch me one more time ah well I guess you let me down Dulu you let me down This looks pretty good. What are we up against? Some mono white, maybe? expecting that so um, I'm, I'm starting to think this is going to be a race with old synthetic synthetic I can't I can't pronounce the H in my words 
My name is Synthetic. All right, so um, yeah, I'm I'm just going to I'm going to try to control what I can control on the board, and uh, and racing. Uh, that's it. That's all I think I can do here. And right now he's winning, which is not good because we're one and two, and I'd like to be two and two. in here for three Shantetic maybe synthetic is the synthetic version of the word synthetic Alright, so I'm doing this because I have to try to, again, mitigate as much damage as he does. He's struggling for lands. I can catch... Ah! Oh, hey! Well, if you're trying to erase an Eurobrass Forge, a Eurobrass Forge is the way to go. However, we're going to play the Celestis first, as you can see, and that'll give us the mana to play the Eurobrass. Swinging in for all of this goodies. We're back in the lead, boys. And now we have the Celestis to gain us a life if we need to. So uh, I think at this point we are in a good spot. What you got, Synthetic? What are we going to do? Ooh, that's a big baddie. That is a big baddie. I don't know if I have an answer for that at this point in time. That is an answer for that. <laughs> See, that's all it takes, ladies and gentlemen, to be good at magic, is to draw the right cards. And that should be it, right? Yep. I think we have lethal here. Uh, good game, Synthetic. You came to the race, but you were not fast enough for the kumquat. Okay, so I'm always taking something with a forge and board wipes. I uh, don't like the two lands, but uh, the elegant parlor here will help me look and manipulate. And we'll take th this because it's a land. Um, I'm not doing anything on turn two anyway that requires two lands. So we're two and two, and on our way back up. It's like we're playing against Simic. Time for some forge. We're going to forge a Phyrexian, and that Phyrexian is coming towards your face, but he's weak, and he must leave afterwards. And uh, barring a an incredible turn here of just dumping creatures, uh, well, I was going to say I was going to play the forge next turn, but I might just depopulate this thing away. Because that's, that's a lot. With three board wipes in my hand, I have a no a problemo. Depopulating one thing. That is a uh, card. But not too frightened of the goose. Not yet. Ginger Brute, huh? Okay. What 
what else we got? Hydra. I've already cut off one of your heads, Hydra. Are you coming back with two so far? Yes, you are. But are these heads more powerful than the one that I cut off right now? I think not. Another, okay, another schooner. All right. So, let's go ahead and I'm clearing this. I'm at 12. And I don't want him to be able to activate the schooner. But he has one of those goofy cards. Okay. Okay. Alright, so this hurts. I'm at seven. Um, so I can, okay, so I'm going to play it like this, and we are going to go ahead and attack him, um, that'll also leave me with enough to block with using my token so I'm hoping that he doesn't come at me too hard okay good so yeah I can block this this 5-4 with my token if he swings in here He still has the uh, the man land, but I can't play that yet. He's only at five now, so um, that's a good draw. Go ahead and tack in here. Let's see what he does. It's a it's a lot of damage for him to take. So I I would suspect that he will maybe attempt to block the two one. Save it, maybe not. Okay. I mean it is trampled, so. Um. God, I want to play Quintoria so bad, but. I'm actually wondering. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's let's. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll discover, and that will allow me to do two to him and gain two life. I was I was actually hoping <laughs> that I I might have got something something uh, different. However, as long as he doesn't draw another land, he cannot activate the uh, the man land. Which means he's only coming at me with six. And being in blue-green collars, I think that is fine. Uh, well, he could use the cauldron to pump up something. So he would actually be coming at me for a maximum of seven. But of course I win next turn, so... Oh, I forgot about the map. So he can actually hit me for eight. <laughs> Get a little bit uh, too close for comfort here, Hydra. I, I, I can't see anything else that he can do though, so that's got to be all his all his pump here. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. So he didn't attack in. I think that was a bad idea, clearly. Um, and now he realizes it was a bad idea, but. Uh, it wouldn't have mattered because my stuff has trample. GG's. We're moving right on up that ladder. Moving right on up that ladder. Now, this is the kind of games I like to see. Multiple wins in a row. 
And now we are going to see what Taki's got. What do you have, Taki? What do you have? He's making us wait. All right, I'll be back when Taki's back. And we're back. That was a, a long one. I actually did not expect him to come back to the game. Um, uh, okay, I was about ready to say our hands, uh, but we just drew the forge, and now I am perfectly happy with this hand. However, <laughs> looks like he's playing blue-white control. That could be a problem. So, let's play this announce, wedding announcement. Uh, he's not counting that, countering that. So, maybe he doesn't have another counter. I wanted to play that before I played the forge. Um, for that purpose. He did have a stop, but... I don't think it was for a counter. Let's see here. Um, let's see. So, I, I, what I'm doing here is I'm just going to attack in with... Well, it looks like I'm going to swing in with this token kill one of his blockers and get another token what an exciting turn that was thank you Taki what you gonna do probably nothing you drew your card you counted your lands and I'll just pass the turn I'd actually rather him not pass the turn and show me that I, he's playing some kind of mid-range deck or something ridiculous like that uh so i don't think he had the uh counter here so you've got something though another march fantastic Azorius Control doing Azorius Control things, which is not playing the game and not letting me play either. Alrighty. Sure. Oh, there's a counter. Oh, he dumps the counter. So does that mean he ha he has a counter now? here while he's tapped out mostly Let's try to get a, a uh, no, try to get some board presence here Temporary lockdown. Okay. He's only got two cards in hand now, so that's good. I don't have anything really to deal with that little bird land, so that's not good. Uh, 
Oh, Taki, he made me wait so long to get in this game, and then we're in this game, and it's just so... What are we doing here, Taki? What are we doing? I'm holding back, because I'm going to emperor the fuck out of that bird land. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Because he's not attacking with the bird land. And he had another counter spell. So now, um, I'm going to... I'm gonna get lost the fuck out of that bird land. You can you can hit me with your two little tokens. He's definitely scared to activate it. Surely he doesn't have another counter. Surely. Okay. All righty. He's got another march out there, maybe. What are you going to do? Nothing. And now my forge is um, pumped up because of the the wedding announcement. All right, Taki. I know that you want to activate that land again. These little mites, they're just not doing it for you. I'm only at six poison. You got four more to go. So what are you going to do? He's going to pump one of them up. Okay. Hmm. Yep. I'm just gonna we're getting too close to lethal poison. I'm glad he didn't have a another counter. Now all of a sudden, Taki, we are not so far apart. What are you going to do, Azorius Control? You're going to draw all the cards. He's desperate. I can feel it. He, <laughs> he didn't find what he was looking for. Oh, I feel so bad. We are up against Zeon. So far, we're on the upward trend, and that is where I like to be, always on the up. Now we may take a setback here or there, looks like we're up against a, another maybe Esper Control or Esper is, I don't know if Legends is still played. Alright, let us see here. I think we can just try the wedding announcement here, see if he's got a counter. Of course he does. Of course he does. It was a rhetorical question, Zeon. I already knew. I just wanted to see if you knew. I knew. I wanted to see what you knew. And now, took my depopulate. I will get that back, sir. Now he knows that I have the uh, Elspeth's Smite. As well as the Wandering Emperor. So clearly he's not attacking in. But does he know how petty I can be?
I'll march your back. Yes, sir, Zeon. What have, what what do you got? Do you have another request for me to stop telling lies? You do not. All right. I'm fine with that. Fine with that. Even though I'm at five. Bye bye. And now we're at four. Not looking good for us, Zeon. And to be perfectly honest with you, if that's your play, it's not looking too good for you either. Because that means the two cards in your hand are absolute garbage. And I am getting a creature every turn and an extra card every turn. So, what you gonna do, Zeon? The Kumquat is on the hunt, and he is coming for your virtue. Oh, huh? oh, oh. Is it important to you that you keep this virtue with no creatures? Who are you, really, Mr. Zeon? Alrighty. I'm feeling pretty good about where... Oh, the fucking bird. The fucking bird. But he doesn't know. Zeon doesn't know what we had to deal with last time around. And if you recall in the last game, we were going to Emperor, and then we were going to get lost the bird, and it never happened. So, is this the match? Where we get our revenge on that damn bird in the way that we wanted to last game. We are about to find out. Zeon, what are you going to do? Here comes the bird. I'm at two. Oh my god. If he has a counter, I'm probably not playing ever again. And everybody knows it's a lie. <laughs> we don't ever stop playing when we say we aren't. And he doesn't have a counter. The bird is toast. It's hunting season. And I have spent the last 45 years rigorously training on duck hunt. For this very moment, the bird is mine. All right, Zeon, what are we gonna do now? You're at 19, I'm at four. I have nothing, you have nothing. But there is one distinct difference. And that is your Brass Forge. Zeon, you are on the clock. What are you going to do? You got me down to two. But as I always do. Ho! Oh, ho! I didn't see the other bird. Oh. Double revenge. Double revenge! Eat that, Birdland! However... I am not in good shape. Magic Gods, I pray to you for the card I need. This is how good we are at magic. We pray to the Magic Gods, and the Magic Gods say, Here you go. This is the card you need. Now, show the world that we do exist. And if you just give us what we ask for, 
we will give you exactly what you need. However, are you prepared to pay the price? So that you may please the magic gods. Zeon did not pay the price, and he was not expecting the virtue of courage, because I only have one in my deck, and I do not think I have seen it across all of my... Oh, shit. His threats just keep coming! Oh, what am I going to do about the Rafine? I don't think I have enough to get around that. But... It does not matter what I have. The magic gods have stated that I have gained their favor. So card after card will not be wasted. They have given me exactly what I need. So I will, for this turn, attack in mindlessly like a mono red player. Okay. Ah, Zeon, you are greedy. You are arrogant. But you don't know that I have not one. But the magic gods have graced me with two wandering emperors. So what do you have to say about this? I can see what you have, and you do not have what you need. And he scoops. Okay, so not 100% fine with the lands, but I have answers as well as a forge. I think this should be okay. Uh, so, the magic gods, they giveth, and they taketh away. Oh, that last game, I tell you. I just I I don't even I don't even know what Gabs was playing, but huh, I think it was one of the faster games. And now we are matched up against Boros, so I'm gonna take out this artifact because uh, I don't want him to get them little them little critters. Give him a little BM here. Yeah, I don't like what you're doing. But I like what I'm about to do. Uh, Alright. So, still taking some uh, pain from our lands. But we got a lightning helix. Uh, we have the heart flame duelist. If uh, I get that down, I can actually make a lightning helix um, go for six. So... Uh, right now, I'm not going to worry about his little one-two. He's starting slow, which I'm grateful for. Hey, good, 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 good. Let's see here. We'll just... Uh, Go ahead and see what he does. Takes one. Unless he blocks with two. Which nobody would do that. If I draw a land next turn, I can sunfall. 
Okay, so this guy can hurt a lot. Um, yeah, that may have been the wrong move. I panicked. Don't. Don't be too hard on me. So I'm at nine. <laughs> I didn't draw the land. But, uh... Hopefully, one card in hand. Hopefully, I'm only taking three next turn. Okay. All right. So, um, we can sunfall now. And hopefully, we'll be in a good place then. Oh! Th actually, this is a heck of a lot better. Heck... Heckin' right. Heckin' yeah. Heckin' sunfall. This is usually followed up by a scoop, but I think Sucram 143 has the stamina, has the fortitude, and also has a couple cards in his hand that he thinks will be enough since I am at 7 life. So, uh, it very well may be. But, he's at 11. I've got a big forge. I've got a big, you know, Phyrexian pod over there. I've got some answers. I now have an emperor. I've got five mana. Uh, da, 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 da. So I'm going to play that. Um. taking good he's probably thinking well it doesn't matter I win next turn anyway so I think I'm just going to uh, pass I've, I can always activate the uh, the pod here if he gets too big but right now I'm only taking four he's got one card in hand other than a land okay he's fishing That's a good card for him, but if I can make it through this turn, I think I can win. And I, yeah, he's he's. Yeah, that looks good. Ah, uh, good game. Uh, well. Yeah. All right. Good game, Sucram. One forty-three. He can only block one thing. Uh, so we shall do it like of this. Good game, but he learned that you don't mess with the kumquat. Okay. So we are now six and three. This is the last game. Will we continue our streak of going seven and three, or will we lose to Mamas, Mamus, Mamas, Mamus, Mamusel, whatever his name is? Will he be the one that is able to take down the Kumquat? Not with a perimeter enforcer. I don't think I've ever even seen that card. Like, what is this? Will he block? No, he will not. I like my hand. But I have no idea what Mamus is playing. And, uh, okay, that looks a little bit more like it. That is dangerous. However, I can depopulate. Welcome, Mamos, to my arena, where I'm the one that says who stays and who goes. Let's see what else you have. 
Uh, okay, I've seen that card, but I haven't seen the other card. This is crazy. What is he even playing? Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess I just I'll take this guy out and um, yeah, we'll go ahead and lightning helix this one. I don't know who you are, so you go away now. And that paves way for our, for our endless line of okay <laughs> okay it's it's i don't have words for what uh what is going on here i don't know what he's playing but i i yeah <laughs> Um, I'm going to play the wedding announcement, and uh, I'm just going to, to play this as a creature. Uh, that way, um, at the end of my turn here, I'll have, you know, I can double block to, 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 to take that out. So, <sighs> what you going to do, Momos? Intrepid adversary. Okay, that's uh, that's annoying because now, wow. Okay, this is I could probably work with this. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I think. Do it this way. Um, I feel like I can. Yeah. I feel like we're in a good place. They're at six. They're at six. Now, granted, he can gain four this turn. Now, granted, uh, he can gain more than four this turn. He. Uh, You're killing me, Momus. Okay, so he's holding back. That's good. Um, let's yeah, let's just play another forge. And. Um, Oh! Hey, hey! I mean, I was having to think really hard. Bonus game! So, for my ten games, we went seven and three. However, I couldn't just leave it like that. We were one win away from Diamond. And now, we are playing up against Robin the Devil. So, I am either going to win this one, and we are going to hit Diamond, or I'm going to lose this one, and it will still be the last game of the video. Uh, or, if it's just not entertaining, I'll cut it. But, if you're here, you're here. Anyway, what are we playing? Mono blue artifacts. Okay. I don't like uh, the ginger brute. He can get mean. Our hand looks so good. Alrighty. Robin the devil. Spelt with a Y. What are you bringing next? Oh, she don't have anything. So, I'm just going to keep playing pressure cards.
I would love for this to be a fast one, you know? Robin the Devil, not doing much. Not doing a much. Hello, Robin. Are you over there doing devilly things? Okay, little little ninjas, artifacts, and ninjas. So uh, we can play the Celestis now, because then we can also play Torch the Tower if he. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that was a good play. I guess it's, it saved her. Uh, what was it going to be at three damage this turn? But again, I think we are we we are quite clearly playing with the upper hand at the moment. More ninja stuff. I've always uh, I've always been confused about the ninja decks because they just really don't seem very good. I don't know if I've ever lost to a ninja deck. Maybe once or twice. Maybe maybe one got one uh, once or twice. I don't know. I just you don't see them that often. Okay. Little little tappity tap action. I'm fine with that because uh, I'll just get you know two more uh, little little human tokens here, little citizen tokens or whatever they are. I can't remember. I think they're just humans. What you gonna do, Robin? Network disruptor. So it seems like they, like I mean, I, I just I do appreciate people not playing mono red. I have to say that. So uh, for that, Robin, my hats off to you. You're up here doing things. You are playing mono blue ninjutsu artifact goodness so kudos to you <sighs> I'm just gonna keep applying pressure here Seven. And a lightning helix. I can go straight to that face. Oh, sweet little baby Jesus. I think this is the game. Okay, what's that? Unctus Retrofitter. So, well, to touch back on what I was saying earlier, I, I really, I, you know, salute hats off to, to Robin the Devil for getting out here and doing unique things, but also uh, makes me have to, like, read cards sometimes. It's like, what's this do? I don't know why I didn't just do that whenever she attacked. Oh, that's a 
that's a card. However, let's see here. He can block two. I just need to get four damage through. So I think I got it here. Yeah. Yeah. The lightning helix and it's over. Let's go. That's diamond. Oh yeah. We just keep going up because to quote the late great macho man Randy Savage, the cream always rises to the top. Oh yeah. Alrighty everyone. I hope that you enjoyed those games. I really did enjoy playing them. This is one of my favorite decks to play, honestly. I just think it's a really strong deck. Uh, so, if I were to make any changes or suggest any changes, uh, obviously, uh, Virtue and Quintorius weren't uh, a big factor in these games. You could take those out and pretty much replace them with anything that you would like. So, before I go, just want to remind you of our short-term goal here of 50 subscribers. I think we can get there next week. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get there. Once I hit 50, we can go live and have a lot of fun. So I appreciate all the support. It's more than I ever imagined. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care.